and let's start this week off with a fast three round, three movement workout. Uh, to warm up, we're gonna quickly go outside and we're gonna start by getting our heart rate going with a thousand meter run. Uh, if you don't have a thousand meter lap around your house, just run for about five to six minutes, then come back. Uh, after your run, we're gonna get into the warm up, which consists of three movements, first of which is a vinyasa, we get that from the yoga. We're gonna start off in a downward facing dog. We're gonna press our chest towards our knees, heels to the floor. From there, get into a high plank. Lower yourself down either on your toes or get on your knees. From there, curl back, little stretch in the back, curl your toes back under, and press the chest back to the knees. Go for five repetitions. After those five, we're gonna go for 10 push-up pluses. That means you get into a high plank, your arms are gonna stay straight, we're gonna retract and contract our shoulder blades. So my hands are below the shoulders, I squeeze my glutes, my core, I let them drop all together, and I press them out as hard as I can. 10 repetitions, and you finish off the round with a 20 second hollow hold. Get on your back, get your shoulders off the floor, press your lower back into the ground. Either keep your knees tucked and your hands beside your body, and if you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can straighten out either one, two legs, or get your hands above your head and hold this for 20 seconds. Go for four rounds. After that, you're nice and warm, and you can start off with the workout. If you're gonna go for the beginner's version today, that means you're gonna start each round with nine burpees. Stand up tall, jump onto the floor, make sure your chest and your hips touch the ground, jump back up, and extend all the way in the top. After nine burpees, we're gonna go for some push-ups, and we're doing them from the knees today, so that means I get onto my knees, hands are below my shoulders, I tuck my elbows alongside my body, Make sure my chest touches the floor and press myself back up. 15 repetitions and you finish each round with 21 sit-ups. For that, if you want to, you can grab a little pillow or a towel. Get that up against your hips. Feet together, knees fall outside. Touch the floor above your head, come all the way up, touch your toes and go for 21 repetitions. Try to get through three rounds as fast as possible, then you're done. Uh, for intermediate, burpees stay the same, so we go for nine repetitions. Then we switch it up a little bit. Instead of the push-ups, you switch to V-ups, and we're gonna go for 15 reps. We're gonna lay down, you're gonna straighten out your arms and your legs, and then you're gonna snap yourself together and you're gonna touch your toes. So it looks like this, all the way up. Keep your hands and your feet off the floor and come back up. Finish off the round with 21 push-ups. Not from the knees this time, so we're gonna make it a bit harder. Hands below the shoulders, on your toes, touch the floor, all the way up. Then, last option for today, what you can do is go for the experienced. Again, burpees stay the same, nine repetitions. Instead of push-ups, now we're gonna go for handstand push-ups. So, if you have a pillow or a yoga mat, you can put this up against the wall, and you're gonna go for 15 reps. Make sure you set your hands up in a little tripod so you want your hands to be below and your shoulder to finish a little triangle and kick out hard with your feet. Tuck in the knees, jump out hard, lower yourself back down and collect 15 reps. And we finish this round off again with the V-ups, this time 20 round repetitions for you guys and also three rounds. After you're done, just a quick little cool down. Only thing you have to do today is a twisted cross. That means you're gonna lay down on the floor, arms are gonna be out to the side. From there, one knee over the other, and I'm gonna drop them to the floor while keeping my shoulders on the ground. Two minutes on each side, and you're all done for the day. Good luck, I'll see you next time.